I thought everybody could do this. I was, I, I found out that that's not the case. Uh, you, well, you just had balance. two back surgeries, so what? don't fall. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> Ow. Ow. My head. What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Hargis Sontag Podcast. We are your hosts. I'm Brandon. And I'm Ashley. Still. That's still my name. That's still your name. Yeah. That's good. I'm glad. Yeah. How's it going? You know, it's going, it's going well. It's, uh, it's going well. It's a little, uh. A little muggy outside, a oh, little uh, you rainy. Say that. Yeah. yeah, we were we were dodging lightning bolts tonight at yes. the ball field. Yes, we were. Because we were at the ball field, you could probably guess. Yeah, and we're- and it's been raining uh, quite a bit, uh, and we're about a, a week and a half away from the end of the season. Man, which is crazy. What are we gonna talk about when baseball's over? I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> but it may go longer because all the rain has pushed back some games. Yep. It's it's had to have reschedule games and makeup games and all that stuff. And so, yeah, it's a lot of that right now. This, this weather is uh, quite wet. Yeah, tonight was crazy. Beckham yeah. had a game. <laughs> yes. And uh, it was cloudy for part of it. Then the sun kind of started peeking out. And then a dark cloud came. Out of and nowhere. Out of nowhere. And it just started pouring. It was lightning. and It was also hailing in other places right around the area. Oh, like really? Like about 10, 15 minutes north of us, there was hail like golf ball size hail mm. which is crazy uh yeah the weather reports i mean at least probably earlier that day never said anything like that i mean yeah it said chance of rain and the radar was like oh a little bit of here and there and you can never trust it because it's always so different when it gets yeah. closer to it i mean it's true obviously it's a weather prediction yeah it's not uh, written in stone but uh i always thought it'd be fun to be a weather gal really you know Everyone, everyone wants to know what the weather's going to be like every day. So it'd be fun to get to be the one to deliver what, that news. What interests you about that? Is it the knowing about the weather or is it about like standing in front of the big screen, <laughs> the green screen and being able to like today's forecast? Yeah, I'd probably be pointing at the wrong things. But well, Don't they have a like, like and how see. does that work? Yeah, well, nowadays they actually, it's funny, back in the day, it was all green screen. And yeah. They could look off to the side and see what they're pointing at. Uh, but nowadays they've got like these giant jumbo touchscreen TVs. Oh, wow. Yeah, in fact, I saw a reel recently where there was a weatherman. I don't know where or what station it was or whatever, but the guy accidentally grazed the screen as he was moving it or as as he was pointing to it and he moved the the map and he was like, whoa, (laughs) I don't know you could do that. And then the other anchors, the news anchors were like freaking out because none of them knew the technology, which I guess, you know, come on guys, learn your technology. I'm sure the IT guy there was like, come on, I explained this six months ago, but uh, he moved it. And he was like, this is amazing. They were freaking out. He said, wait, can I even zoom in? He did the, you know, the, the pinch uh, motion like you do on your phone and it zooms in. He was like, oh my gosh. And then two fingers, he was able to Mm. go like a more, uh, the the 3d plane. It was really cool. So you probably would have uh, a better idea of where you're pointing if you were a weather girl. Cause you'd you'd see it. Gotcha. 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 Well, I'm not, I, my time has passed. I don't think that's happening. So you, you know what? Never say never. Never say never. Cause uh, if you really want something, we can okay, try and I, d- I don't want it that bad. I okay, just, well, <laughs> you know, you got, I was like, it's wow. It's not really like a big dream of mine. It's <laughs> so just, you learned something new about you today. Cause no, I had I just, no idea. Uh, well, no, I just, you know, it'd be cool to get to deliver that news every day, but no, it's not a big dream of mine. So we don't need to keep talking about it. Okay. Well, you know, just, just checking to see if it's a lifelong dream. We need no, to, no, no. Uh, no, to no, make no. come true. There are, mi- there are many other things that would come before that so okay well like what? um any oh don't uh, don't put me on the spot i don't i don't, <laughs> I don't know well, what were you gonna say then <laughs> probably starting a podcast with oh my well, husband. that's sweet that's sweet yeah um, that'd come before it for sure <laughs> so well yes um uh what was i gonna say you're talking about it the ball fields really and how important. rainy it was out there yes well i can tell you and you could be thinking about it i'll tell you something uh tell speaking something. of baseball games and the rain we actually have because of makeup games this saturday is going to be mm. quite a uh what's yeah. the word um uh, it's gonna uh, be quite a challenge that's not the word i was thinking of <laughs> but i'm gonna stick with challenge because uh we've got five you heard me right five baseball games wow. on saturday you're saying yes. wait a second you only have three kids well you are correct uh we have had so many rainouts that they have rescheduled two of our other or two kids have a second game that later that day so yeah eight o'clock we have to be there mm. and Yikes. we're gonna be there until at least Yikes. six o'clock so well uh uh our 
kids just found out that they get instead of trophies <laughs> which they've always gotten like yes. like trophies not because everybody trophies. gets a trophy but just that's what um get. but this year they're giving the first and second place winners a a ring yes one of those a rings little, little championship championship ring. rings and so mm-hmm. our boys when they heard that they're like oh man we better play <laughs> our little hearts out yeah the first place second place get these rings or so we've been told i really hope so because the kids would be heartbroken if they got to first or second and they uh, didn't get a ring yeah uh it'll but, teach uh, them a good life lesson yeah you know? exactly <laughs> not uh, a, you don't win every time but that is the goal and even if you do win you... lincoln's team currently is in first place and the other boys are in third place place currently correct you have to get first or second place to get a ring so, so and we've only got like three games left each yeah so three or four. i'm stressed just think about it <laughs> we gotta get those rings yes uh what would be what would happen if just like one got a ring or two of them got a ring are you gonna be making a ring in like arts no, and crafts no for the no other no one? no because you get it you don't you don't you gotta teach them lessons they don't get participation i'm not saying they do here. i'm just saying you gotta when, win when when you know you the rubber meets it. the road if you have two kids with rings. I'm glad the rubber meets the road when there's lightning out, speaking of. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Man, I was dodging those lightning bolts out there. I have my umbrella. I'm like, I'm an easy target right now. I had to get run to the car because the car is on rubber. <laughs> so I felt much safer in there. Yes, the lightning made us reschedule the game. We were at about the fourth inning or so, and it's a bummer. We were actually tied, uh, and we lost one. We were, we were down a run right before they called it, so... Uh, I'm glad that uh, we get to play the last 18 minutes uh, at another time. Yes. And hopefully we'll pull out a win there, but uh, we'll see. Well, I feel like uh, we should stop talking about baseball. I know. I know. <laughs> we're going to lose them. Well, listen, we're, we're, we're only, like I we said. We don't know how to talk about anything else. We're so close to the end of the season, so we got to get the most we can out of it. Because uh, then we won't know what we'll talk about then once we, uh, we get past the season. So We are hardest on deck, so we Correct. have to incorporate baseball somehow that is correct yeah so what else is new though what what else happened this week besides the busy week at the baseball fields Mm. well last night we all went out to eat with my whole side of the family all my um my parents my grandma all my siblings my niece and nephew um we were all all together which doesn't happen very often and went out to eat, got some barbecue. We were yes. celebrating Mother's Day a little bit early mm-hmm. because Mother's Day is going to look a little different this year because we, some of us have a wedding to go to. Yeah, so, we're going to a wedding on Mother's yeah. Day. It was fun that we had about six, there was 16 plus a baby uh, mm-hmm. with us. It's a, it's a big group of people at a restaurant. Uh, but it was fun we hadn't got to see everybody in a long time. Your brother was in Japan or he was in, mm-hmm. uh, he was actually in multiple countries overseas, uh, but he'd been gone for a couple weeks. Weeks, and so it was good to kind of welcome him home. Uh, our brother-in-law is going up uh, north uh, for 13 weeks for work. And so he's gone for a while. So we kind of got to say goodbye to him uh, since we won't get to see everybody all together uh, for a while. My and sister's so, going out of town. So that's right. Yeah. It was going to be the last time that everyone will be together for a while. So, yeah. um, so that was fun. To yeah, get it was to... a fun little Mother's Day barbecue yeah. uh, with your side of the family. We're still trying to figure out what we're doing with our my side of the family. Mm-hmm. But yes, uh, not much else happened. I don't. I don't think I can't remember really besides the rain baseball and uh, hanging out with your family I'm uh, trying to wrap up homeschooling oh what am I guess I forgot what we had, we were spontaneous this week some friends of ours asked us last minute they were like hey I know it's like the 11th hour but would you like to join us uh, we're, we're going to this gala uh, for this this uh, retreat uh, ranch it's a really cool cause actually and they had a couple of seats open for us it's an hour and 15 minutes away but free food great times do you want to come and we were like you know what we don't have anything happening that night let's do it let's be spontaneous what she actually said was she texted me and said ash want to go to a fancy dinner on a farm in the south (laughs) That's right with us i said well of course well of course i do <laughs> always yes so that's what that's I technically elaborated. what she said i'm sorry i no, didn't get it exactly yeah, right yours sounded great i'm just saying that was the gist of it <laughs> uh i didn't see the actual text but basically when you, re- just, inter- when you wanna, reiterated wanna, to me want to go want to go to uh, a fancy a farm a fancy, fancy dinner, dinner on a farm in the south yes. that's what she said i was like i don't know what any of that means 
or what I'm going to, but let's we do said, it. We said, sure. And it was literally the next day. It was, that was late at night, the night before. And we're like, let's do this. So I asked my parents, hey, can you watch the boys? It worked out perfect. We were going to go right after, uh, oh, it was right after the games. That's what it was. It was right after the baseball yes. games. It was Saturday. And uh, we were going to go straight from the games to my parents' house to drop the boys off. Took and all then, our clothes in the car to <laughs> yeah. change. And uh, uh, it was it, literally an hour and 15 minutes away. And uh, one way. But we drove out there and we're like, let's do this. It's fun. Get to hang out with each let's other in the car. Be crazy. Yes, and uh, and and yeah, being spontaneous is fun. And I haven't seen my friend who invited us in yes. forever, and I love her so much. And I wanted to hang out with her too. Yes, so. it was great to go, and the food was amazing. It, the, the, the it was probably was the best chicken and steak I've ever had. It was so good. Yes. Yeah, it was I, farm to table. I would, uh, I would say food. something like, hey, wait a second. I make you steak a lot, oh. but, but. I mean, it was it's my is, second favorite no, steak I've ever even, had. Brandon's even, is my favorite. Don't even was pretend. Right? No, no right. because that, I, right. I can very easily. You make amazing steak. Give the title to this, uh, this place. It was amazing. Uh, I do not have anything. I, I do not claim to be it, a master grill It was uh, whatever the seasoning or the, the, the sauce. Cook, it was so, it, oh, man. It was so yeah. good. I, mm, I wish I had some right now, actually, because it was that good. Yeah. Uh, but it was cool. The, the farm was amazing it was so beautiful out yeah. there and we were in this brand new barn they just built they opened the the barn doors while they were giving this presentation and of course it was this beautiful view of this lake and the sun was setting and it was just like okay this is this is nice uh yeah. and they had uh, all these desserts that we could try yeah. They had fire pits all throughout around the, the barn that you could go and hang out and, and spend time. They just said, hey, go out and enjoy this, this, this space, this area. Uh, we want to you to experience it. Got to meet a lot of new people, and yeah. it was just a really fun night. They had uh, handmade. They had homemade Oreos. Handmade Oreos. Homemade Oreos. I've yes. never seen that, and it was amazing. They, it, had, they were so good. They had good. all kinds of. They did. They had, little treats to they had oh from. we didn't we didn't even do this but they had like a s'mores bar mm -hmm. and they had these giant those big giant fluffy marshmallows that are like a, a giant square that fits the whole graham cracker with like ghirardelli gosh oh they had chocolates. so many cool things to pick yeah. up so yes, it, it was, was nice. it was great uh and uh we had a great night it was fun and we drove an hour and 15 minutes back to go pick up the boys it was a long day with all of it together but it was fun to get to do something that's out of the ordinary yeah something spontaneous Wait. got to spend two and a half hours in the car with you which was great was great and yeah i would love to do it again so if anybody out there wants to invite us to a gala <laughs> uh we would gladly say yes you know depending on the cause of course but uh <laughs> you know free food is great yes we like free we like food so yes both are uh, great. Anyways, moving on to the second second part of the this episode. The second part of this episode. Okay. All right. Uh, I came across a list that is, um, what does it say? It's uh, funny questions to ask your friends. Okay. It's like get to know you questions. Really? So we're getting, Wait, you're going to ask me get to know you questions? That's actually not what it was called. It says, oh. 255 we won't do that many oh funny okay. questions to ask your friends when you're bored oh so and what did you say before was you just were you just making up something or i don't know what you reading this, something else no i was reading something else <laughs> but it's basically the same thing I'm, okay yeah uh, yeah all right anyways uh but there were some like j they're just like random questions that i think will be interesting to hear so you're gonna ask me some questions yeah okay i have no idea what you you just you literally said hey i'm gonna i'm gonna do something on this podcast i don't know what they are i just said all right you just you go with it so they were, you're asking me questions yes yes funny questions oh well, i don't know why it said funny oh, okay they're not really funny oh, but may, just... maybe it could lead to funny answers maybe okay. that's why i said well, funny so are these they're like just... one word answer type questions uh are they like deep meaning questions or are they no, just like goofy no, no. little things? They're not deep. Okay. Not let's deep. just, you know, I'm, all right, let's, let's go. get started. Just jump in. I'm, I'm curious. Let's go. All right. <laughs> all right. First question. Okay. We won't do 255. All right. We'll I do, like, appreciate that. Do 235. <laughs> all right. What TV show would you want to be in? What TV show would I want to be in? Yeah. Great question, right? Ooh. Thought about myself. That is a very good question. Yeah. Oh man! I just thought these would be really fun to know. 
Now that's a. I, I kind of wish I had had some no, of these a, no, ahead of time, time because now, because okay, because it depends on you know the 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 years of television we're talking about here. Because I've been on a kick recently of watching older TV shows, not older, but like from the early two thousands. I've been watching I, old TV shows. Mm -hmm. I keep saying old. It's not old, but TV shows from the past twenty years because there were some really good shows back in the day. And it just don't make them like that anymore. I feel like I could guess some of them. Oh, really? Okay, well, uh, all no, right. I okay, okay. First no, I want to know what you would think, though, because I don't want to give you my answer. If you have an answer? I don't have an answer yet. But you said you said that you could guess at least one. Well, I have a few that I... You have a few. That you would probably pick one of them. Okay, okay. Well, I'm thinking I would love to hear right. your guess to see if it would match up. Um... Cause there, you, I know some favorites of yours, but there are some that I don't think you would <laughs> yeah. say you would want. So I'm not just I, listing off your sure, favorite Sure, I shows. get that. I get that, and I, I could, I can guess what you're thinking, uh, which would not be a great one to be in. But I, yeah, I get that. Okay, all right. Let's let's hear your guess. Well, um, I think that you would want to be in uh, 24. Okay, which that's that's funny. Would you? That's, so. It depends because that one is real intense, intense. And, and you know Jack Bauer out there saving more the day. Comedy? Well, no, no, I wasn't thinking comedy. It's funny you say that because I've been going back and watching a lot of early two thousand shows. That's on my list. Haven't jumped back into it yet because we oh. don't have Hulu or anything like that. So anyway, uh, twenty four. You know, maybe possibly maybe. if I could be hanging out with Jack Bauer. You know, when he's not saving the day and you know stopping nuclear bombs and all that stuff. I don't know. Can you say that on? on youtube i probably should cut that out if that's the case just put a beat well they'll think you cut <laughs> yeah exactly um anyway uh okay that's a good guess that's a good guess all you right give any more guesses um, or lost see that's that was the one i thought you would say yeah because lost think, one of my favorite tv shows of all time but i think you would and, also want to like be in it yeah it's it's definitely one of those shows where if you stop and think about it you know because you watch lost we, we, we well we watched we, we watched both 24 and lost when it was on tv live but uh if you stop and think about Lost, that, that show, those people, like, okay, if you were out on a mysterious deserted island Never. for for many weeks, you know, and you're hanging out with people and it's, it's hot and sweaty and you don't have running water, you don't have toothbrush or toothpaste, you, shampoo. You, you have the ocean. You have the ocean. You can pee in and you can... Well, I'm not talking about just going to the bathroom. I'm talking about like just general hygiene. I mean, you I can imagine. You take a bath in there too. You, yes, but. Your pee will be washed away. But what about like, if, okay, if you're out there for months and you're sweaty and hot, every time you see them, they're all, their shirts are always soaked through sweat. It's good for you to sweat. But, but like. You'd be the, healthy. Oh, I'm not saying we'd be healthy. I'm just saying <laughs> we, they would stink and their breath. I mean, that's the other thing too. I thought about like, what if I got, you know, closer to someone? It's like, dude, I can't. You have no toothpaste. You just got to have good, good gut health. That's what they say. So I guess uh, uh, I came across a diet full of berries. And I came across uh, someone on Instagram who he uh, is all about like gut health, which yes. is very important. Yes. And um, he said he doesn't brush his teeth. What? Because oh, sorry, 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 sorry. He doesn't. He doesn't use toothpaste. He oh, only okay. puts water on his sure, toothbrush to and like that's it. Get all that stuff. And okay. he said he doesn't have bad breath because his gut health. I get is that. I get that. And actually. Not to be gross, but oh. I noticed that if I were to have like sweet tea or something that day, if I'm not just drinking water and eating healthier, if I drink like sweet tea or something that has a lot of sugar, the, your, your, your tongue gets like a, it's going to be gross. It gets a little coating on it. Okay. And I'm sorry, but I'm just saying like, I noticed that and it's, I guess it's like the sugar or something. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not well. a hygienist, a doctor. I'm not a <laughs> biologist. Uh, sorry. Uh, but, but it's, it, you know, I've noticed when I eat or drink something that's not healthier and that's what causes bad breath. You know, if you didn't know, I'm now you know, you. so that's a good idea. Yeah. No. Uh, and again, just before anybody in the comments says, ah, oh, you call yourself a lost fan. Don't you know that, that, in, season, that talk? in season two, they found the hatch and they went down there in the Dharma initiative and they had a, sham a shower and two. I know they found stuff and it's not just that. I'm just saying if you're on a deserted island and you're around these people all the time and you don't have basic hygiene, hy hygienic products. It's going to get a little stinky and smelly. So. so are you saying you I don't would want to be on the Maybe. show or no? Maybe. It was very <laughs> What's mysterious. What's your final answer? Okay. Well, all right, I'll, get, I'll give you. Excuse you, TV. 
How did you? What? Our TV just turned on by itself and is <gasps> listening to us. That's she not wants even. To join that's in. not even like Siri. Or oh, it's not Alexa. Siri. No, it's. I a, thought it was. The TV has its own AI or whatever. It's crazy. All these assistants. Okay. I'm gonna leave it on because I don't have the remote for this. Go to well, sleep, TV. Anyway, we can learn how to make pecan, <laughs> pecan cinnamon rolls. Oh, you don't say it like that, do you? Pecan. Pecan. No. All right, so I will tell you one. I'm actually watching this right now, and I will say first season was the best season. Of course, it goes down. There was one there. other one I was going to look at. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. I'll let you guess. I've never seen this before, but I just know you loved it. What? Fireflies. Fireflies? <laughs> Firefly. What, are we like Owl City here? Fireflies? <laughs> Firefly. Firefly. I said you that loved is, that show. That was a great show. Okay. One season. Anyways. Uh, was that right? Would you have wanted to be in that? that? I forgot about it, but no. yes, that would be a good one. Okay. It's a space western. What? Uh, I would not have if you think that. about, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a great show. It's a great show. It had one season. That would be fun. The ragtag. It only had uh, one season. It had thirteen episodes plus like a lost episode what? or something. I know. And everybody out there, if you ask anybody, in fact, in the comments below, wherever you're watching or listening to this, let me know if you've heard of Firefly, the show. Uh, it's a great one. Nathan Fillion and yep. a lot of other people. Um, anyway, that's a great one. And I'm glad I'll, you said I'll that. let you answer now. Okay. But that's a good one. And I would, guesses. I would say yes to that. I would okay. like to be in that show. You All know, right. that'd be fun. Uh, one I was going to say just now, only because I'm, I'm literally watching it right now, uh, mm. is, uh, it's, heroes mm -hmm. and and you know all the superpowers and stuff it's it's uh it's fun it'd be fun to be in that world where oh you know each person has something different one can fly one can teleport and it'd be kind of cool to experience <laughs> that you okay over there just bumped my wrist. she bumped her wrist um but uh, there was another one that i was gonna say uh that you probably wouldn't guess right now and it just popped in my head when we were talking about lost i want to throw a curveball in there and it was an old show came back as a new show and it is a reality show. I would like to try my hand at The Mole. Mm. We watched the newest yeah. season of that recently as a recommendation from your siblings. And it was awesome. Uh, if you don't know about it, it's basically a bunch of people who compete to win uh, a prize just like any reality show. But there's one person who is secretly the mole who is trying to sabotage everything. And they are trying to uh, stop at every chance they get without revealing their identity uh, and mess everything up for everybody. And it was really fun. I really enjoyed watching that. It seems like, a, it, seems like it was like escape rooms all day long, which I love. So... I would say something like that too as a little uh you know yeah. runner up all right let's see is that, that was a long question i'm sorry it took so long well you're fine okay okay um all right brandon ashley do you have a secret talent Ooh, a secret talent oh actually i don't know if this will will uh translate for you audio listeners not a secret talent um Actually, I have two that I'm thinking of now. The toe thing is that's not a talent. that wasn't a, that, okay. that was gonna be my second <laughs> that's one. That's not a talent. That's, okay, but that is kind of. I don't of, know what that is. That is, you know, <laughs> I wish I could do that right here. You know, I could try and stand on the couch, but that'd be weird. Um, that was not my first one. My first one was gonna be okay. I can wiggle my ears. So okay, let's see if you can see it. Can you see it? My hat on. Yes. <laughs> I'll have to zoom in on this. I haven't done that in a while. That kind of hurt, but you know. I don't understand how you do that. I can't feel that muscle. Yeah, there. So wiggle in your it. ears. I could do that, and I'm gonna. I do think this. Mason can do it too. He might be able to. I'm gonna do this. You're not gonna be here. Hear me for a second, but I'm oh. gonna try and sit on the couch. I don't know if it's gonna show, but I'm gonna try and do this. You're gonna stand. I hope I don't break my my legs. Wait, is this a talent though? This is very. This is talented. just. Okay, look, <laughs> look at me. Okay. What in the world are you doing? Right. Can you see it? I don't know. Y'all, so, he's out of control. It's a good thing I do. He's out of control. So look. Oh hey, my I thought, word. I thought, oh, I got to get the microphone. I thought everybody could do this. I was, I, I found out that that's not the case. This is, this is, this is All right. Right? Uh, You just had balance. two back surgeries, so look. don't fall. Oh, actually, this is a lot. Oh my lot. word. So look, you can step on your toes, I guess, and bend them under. I thought everybody could do this. And I would do this, but it's very unstable here. I'm going to use your head. Oh, my uh, goodness. <laughs> Ow. Ow, my Ow. head. Brandon. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, was it worth it? <laughs> was that, is that, is I'm that back. a talent? Or what is I'm that? I'm sorry. What ask would anybody. You call that? Uh, can your toes curl under like well, that? Can you stand not. on them? For those who couldn't see that, 
amazing feat of yeah, skill how gonna, there. How are you going to explain <laughs> to people what that I was? Said, I said feat of skill. That was amazing. For those who couldn't see it, I can stand on the tops of my feet where my toes curl under, kind of like I make a fist with my toes. It's kind of weird, you know, if you don't know what I'm talking about. I thought everybody could do that. No. I thought toes could no. bend that way. No. For those who saw it on YouTube, you're welcome. If you didn't see it, go check it out if you're interested. You're lost. <laughs> <laughs> if you could attend any celebrity wedding, which would it be? A celebrity yeah, wedding? Mine would be Brandon from Jump 5. But I did attend that wedding. You did attend it that wedding. And wedding. that's not a celebrity. So, well, you're, you're my celebrity. You know, I can't say this without feeling a little like... I'm trying to say this with, with as little ego as possible because I do not think of myself in that way at all. What are you uh, say? But I'm just saying it's funny on Wikipedia, which anybody can edit Wikipedia. I'm not claiming that I did this, but I was at uh, work. This was like 10 years ago when I used to work at Apple. And one of my coworkers looked up famous people that lived in Nashville. And what, what do you, what do you know? My name was on that list. And what? I'm like, why is my name on that list? And I, I'm literally saying that. And I, I please understand. I do not think of myself <laughs> that way at all. I do not want anybody hearing me say that and going, wow, what a, what an egotistical jerk. No, I'm literally, you're, it just, was, you're just shooting facts. It, literally, I was sitting in the break room <laughs> next to the guy and he happened to pull it up and goes like, oh, look, your name's on this list of famous people or celebrities that live oh. in Nashville, Tennessee. And I was like, what? Oh, wow, wow, um, wow. So and to think I'm sitting, I'm sitting not, right okay. next to you. I don't know you. why I brought that story up. It was very stupid. Is it, are um, you real? Oh my gosh. Okay. You, you know, are, you are my celebrity. a celebrity wedding, you know, it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun to go to, um, well, I got two, I got two here hmm. and I don't know. I think they're already, one is already married. I don't know what the other one may, probably is. Hmm, so uh, nice to have a chance with this other one. No, I'm saying like if let's just pretend they're not married. So that way okay. you can go to their wedding. Uh, one would actually be a callback to the show you brought up, uh, Firefly, uh, mm -hmm. Nathan Fillion. You know, oh, It'd be yeah. cool to attend his wedding because he seems like a seems cool dude. Nice. He's like a nice dude and all his friends, all his buddies are in all his shows that he does. And it'd be fun to meet all those people too. Aww. Cause, uh, he seems like a cool dude. I hope he is. Uh, it'd be fun to meet you. Nathan, Nathan Fillion. Uh, Nathan, Nate, 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 Nato, Nato. Um, uh, if you're watching, <laughs> if you could send us an invite, um, I'm not gonna say our address here, but but uh, how do we get him out? I don't, even, I don't even know if he's married or not, but uh, you well, know, that's, it'd be cool to just hang out with that dude, I feel like. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure a lot of people would say the same because he seems genuine. Anyway, the next one genuine. would be so, someone that would be uh, probably like in the Marvel world, like mm. uh, Chris Evans or something. Okay. I think he just got married, but okay. someone in that world where it's like, oh yeah, he all all those uh those marvel guys and girls are gonna probably show up and and uh hang out and whatever um that'd be cool to attend one of those weddings right. Ma mainly it's to see other people i feel like <laughs> as opposed to that person's wedding but uh but yeah anyway well that's great great answer. do you have an answer i have only asked you whenever i couldn't think of something but i should have asked you your answers on all these questions and i feel terrible that i didn't do that don't feel bad. Was there something that you would have uh, thrown out there? I have one that doesn't apply to you, but it does to me. What? Who? If you wore one, what did your prom dress look like? Okay. I thought you were going to answer the celebrity wedding oh. thing. That's why I was like, <laughs> that's why I said who? Uh, okay. I said Brandon Hargis from Jump 5. Oh, okay. And well, I did get to attend that wedding. Okay, so. I'm sorry. Uh, Actually, what I was, was in the that question? Wedding. I was in that wedding. You, you were, shockingly. Dream come true. Shockingly. Yeah. I'm still living um, the dream. You're so sweet. Uh, and, uh, just a dream. I can't you're tell. Ju you're just a dream. I cannot tell when the sarcasm ends. I'm not sarcasm you're being sincere. Car sarcasming. I, Is that a word? <laughs> you made it up. I do if not it isn't. sarcasm. Uh, sarcasm. What's the question? I what? was so lost. I was not even in that mode of listening to a new question. I didn't know we were going for oh, question yeah. number whatever that is. Oh, sorry. What is it? Prom dress? It says if you wore one, what did your prom dress look like? No, that's a question for me. Okay, I was like, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I said it that. doesn't apply to you, it applies to well, me. Well, I know what your prom dress looked like. Yeah. Because I took you to prom. Yeah, you did. Twice. Couple times, couple times. Twice. Uh, your first one was yeah. quite, quite a look. But I thought quite you Quite a look? Are you making fun of it? I'm oh. saying you okay. were the most beautiful it. girl so nice. oh my in gosh. the room. Oh, good song. <laughs> Throw, throwback to Carter. In the whole wide room. Yeah. Um, 
Yes, you had this beautiful. Wow. And it was very unique. This this red. <laughs> I mean, it was well, stunning. It, it was. Uh, it was. Stunning. A lot of people wore like lo- yeah, four wore, length like, dresses, the, the, and the mine was elegant. The the whatever you call it. The in my in my case, boring dresses, and you had this just spicy uh this red uh, what's the material it was like normal like you know like it, it was like cool. a silky silky material. yeah but it was like but like this the not skirt because it's it's that's it i've it learned like, that's, uh, like the dress part was like uh bunched up and it came up it was short or whatever like to your knees or something or whatever mm-hmm. it was super cool super, super cool super awesome it was cool it was oh, i was gonna say attractive it was cool i was gonna say how <laughs> hot you look oh wow but that seems a little crass yeah. you were beautiful You're it was so awesome nice. oh, the way you just mm. you had your hair i had and a, i had the, dark brown hair then it was oh man you had you had crazy it was, right uh, it was up too what? it was down for prom what yeah i had it up when we went to like that dance thing of your i don't even know what it was oh, was yeah. it something I was, with montessori okay. Or okay, yeah, I'm getting mixed up. So it was I took a, three I wore proms. A, that wasn't prom. What yeah, was it? It was a prom. Why did y'all go? Because it was our old school. <laughs> but you and didn't go to that school anymore. Because there was like 20 people that attended the <laughs> school. It was their school. prom? That was their prom. Wait, and y'all just went back years later? We, there, w- the school I went to when I was in elementary school and middle school, they didn't have a high school until we left. But all those friends were still there and they were in the high school and we were in jump five at that point. So we had a tutor on the road. And so, so they, decided they had a prom. They're like, oh, you guys come. Oh, okay. and it was it was a whole new thing. They, I went they with went you. To, I just I went to don't, middle didn't school. remember what it was exactly. Middle okay. school was the end, and so then they it had the high end. school, and it's, so it was like, all right, so there's like you know twenty people there or so, and so we went, and so I did take you to I took you to my what my I, what my school would have been if I was not in jump five. Uh, yeah, to that so prom. I had my hair up for that, and you're I wore right, a black right. dress, and some, I got my makeup right. done at um a Mac store, a Mac for store. free, Ooh, and they just like fancy. offered it. And I was like, I uh, no, you're right. I'm getting, I'm getting those mixed up. But whatever, what you and they did were the smokiest black eye on me, and I was like, <laughs> oh, not, was it like not a, my look? Hold on, was that like a uh, um, uh, uh, like a training thing? Like were they training people at Mac? Uh, that Maybe were doing this? it was. Uh, I like, think Ooh. it was when I worked at the mall or something, and I was, I don't know how I how I came across like them saying we'll Ooh, do your makeup we'll do for, your, for, you. for the your prom I thing think, tonight i think so i just sat down on the chair and they went to town I and think. they did the darkest <laughs> smoky eye and anyways i think did, they were they were using style, you as a training uh you were there uh you remember how how it was smoky they, it, it was, was smoky sh- uh, you were they, you were a um guinea pig that's what you were i think it was oh no I, yeah i think that was uh oh my hair was dark brown then too yes it was still great you still looked amazing you're nice. I'm not. I feel I'm like just, they I'm, did my hair too. I don't know. The whole look was not me. Look. So I kind of feel like different. I didn't. And you had like a black dress different. in that one. You said it was right. different. I did have a black dress. Yeah. I didn't say it was bad. I said it was different. great. Different. No, I, it's, it's good. You don't have smoky eyes like that all the time. <laughs> uh, but then you had that. Okay. I forgot that. I didn't count that as a prom. So technically well, I was three just saying proms. that's when my hair was up. Yes. Uh, oh, wait, correct. I had my hair up for actually the other prom with you. That's too. right. Yes. Yeah. And then the last one, senior prom, was when you had this nice, beautiful white dress. Mm. and it was like oh is this uh is this uh, a, precur- precursor, a precursor to uh precursor. to our future which what what yes, year was that what year that was, was that 2007, from? 2007 that's what yeah, i thought i was gonna say I that but i was gonna you know just make sure and so yeah. that was what uh how many years before the actual white dress that you wore in your mm. so-called it was a long time before. celebrity wedding i'm yeah. joking i'm joking it I was, had to bring, it was, it was a joke it was a joke wedding. i'm kidding everybody i feel so <laughs> Whenever I say that, um, that was a long time. I had another Math. prom dress too. Four more years. Well, you had another prom dress. I took you to three proms. Yeah. And then I had one other prom dress. I don't even know what it looked like, honestly. What did You've it look seen like? pictures. Probably. It was long and black with white on it. Oh, yeah. I saw. Oh, I know what yeah. you're talking about. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But uh, anyway, that was. So those uh, were all my prom dresses. Those are all your prom dresses. Do you have any of them? Black and white, red white well it was actually a, a like an off-white color yes. it wasn't white white oh the you're, we you're oh yeah okay it was very it was more, a little creamy it was a little creamy and then uh and then that black one so yes yeah. so those were all my prom dresses beautiful every single one of them you're i loved nice. it you were uh, always always my, a looker you stood out my, in the crowd <laughs> no. you did you did <gasps> my style has changed 
drastically. So and, I look back at all those. I'm like, oh, what was it? Well, and you had so many different styles between then and so now too. You've seen me I've seen, go through so it, many. You styles. had your granny phase. It was not a granny phase. It is definitely it was, a granny phase. It was the decor in our house. <laughs> okay, that would was. have been straight out I, of. I thrifted everything. When grandparents' we got house. You did. Goodwill yeah. was your second home. I loved to find pieces of clothing that like no one else would have and piece it together with other things. And wow, I looked back. You I'm also, like, what was that? Didn't you win like in the superlatives? They're called superlatives, right? In in yeah. high school, you didn't. Didn't you and your sister win like best dressed or something? Or not best dressed? Or what was the what was the superlative you won in in high school? That was something like that. Yeah, it was best dressed. It was best dressed. Uh, okay. And we both shopped at Goodwill. <laughs> Goodwill. That's where we got Goodwill. So you know what? You too so. can shop at Goodwill um, and also win best dressed in your in your high school. Hopefully, yeah. maybe. I would wear like uh, t-shirts with tank tops on top you and were, jeans. You were a trendsetter. And like uh, Uggs and oh, oh my goodness. You it had the, the chokers, a, which we've talked about in a previous episode. My ribbon chokers. You did do that. You had a lot of that stuff, oh um, which was great. But hey, you, like I said, always stunning, always stood out in a crowd. Oh, I wow. loved it. You're, You're beautiful. Wow, 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 I, uh, all your styles that you had, including oh. your granny face were <laughs> just top notch. Wow. You're so nice. <laughs> um, I think that's a good enough questions. I think that's a good, is that enough? I think that's a good, good little, you know, maybe we do more of these, you know, I like that. What do you guys think? Did you like hearing us answer us? I have one more. Me. Oh, you do? Just last one. Okay, fine. Because I know, right. I know who you're going to say. I was say. trying to get out of this quickly, Sorry. but no. One more because I know who right, you're going to say. Let's hear it. Let's hear the question. Which celebrity do you think you look like? <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody would agree, even though I find, well, nothing against the guy. Uh, I, I actually find don't even know his name. Or I don't know his you actual name. You don't remember name. his name because you I, did uh, back when he was a thing in the early 2000s. No, I know who I know his I name know. in the I movies. I know you know the name in his movie. Uh, listen, John, you're a great guy. John, Johnny Boy. And, and I, uh, I'm, I, I, I say I don't know him. I, I hope so. Uh, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything. What's his last name? Heater. Heater. John Heater? John Heater. I do not remember that name. It's Napoleon, just, Dynamite, Napoleon Dynamite, everybody. Napoleon Dynamite. I have been told so many times, and it's not a it's not a positive. Uh, I don't even think John would like to be called Napoleon Dynamite, even though he played him in the movie. Uh, yeah, people thought Napoleon you looked Dynamite. so much like him that so um, Zoe Girl on the tour yes, on the Jump they, Five uh, Zoe Girl tour. Did they ask you to do that? It, they did. They said, they you know, asked you to, they like, said, dress okay, up I think we've talked about this in the past. And if not, did you do the dance? I, you better believe it. Yeah. Um, it. So quick little jump five trivia. So we can say we talked about jump five for those jump five fans. A lot of people stay have to been the asking. End. Oh, you better stay to the if end. If we could touch on some jump five. Yes, I know. And, and you know what? If, if, uh, if you did stay to the end of this podcast, kudos to you. Uh, let us know in the comments down below by, you know, commenting your favorite jump five uh, Zoe girl, you know, story. I don't know. Jump five Zoe girl story. Oh, from the tour if you was, I don't know I'm trying to think of something creative anyway so on this tour they said you know it'd be great you look like him let's do this thing because Napoleon Dynamite was this big movie at the time let's have Napoleon Dynamite host the show the whole concert and I was like okay sounds good they all three of the Zoe girls had these tiny little curling irons and they curled my he whole long blonde he head of hair into this afro, this, this you know, blonde afro. That was my real hair in that. Uh, we got the glasses. We got the vote for Pedro shirt. I had the black pants. And we shot all these clips introducing the opening artist, which was Kimberly Perry, who in her own right is an awesome artist. Uh, we introduced Zoe Girl. We introduced Jump Five. We had little segments in between, and it was uh, we had the music, the, the look. We did scenes that were just ridiculous. I remember there was one time we did it out at one of their their neighborhoods, one of the Zoe Girls neighborhoods, and there was a like a community park, a basketball court, and there was kids playing out there. And we're like, let's get some fun. This would be awkward. And this is way before like YouTube and stuff, and we go up and. I'm all dressed up as Napoleon Dynamite and I'm like, act, I'm acting just like him. And these kids are like, what's going on? And I, they were playing basketball. At one point I just run in and steal the ball and try and shoot it. 
and whiff it like way over. And they're looking at me and I just kind of look at him like the pulling diamond would and then run away like he does. <laughs> and it's, I mean, literally it's like that kind of stuff is all over social media now, or at least it used to be like five, 10 years ago. But that was like, it, people were like, what the heck is going on? What is this? And uh, <laughs> we did stuff like that and it was fun. It was goofy and people you, didn't know. You dressed up like him on a mission trip that we, I did, I that did. we went, to, yes. went on. You dressed up as Napoleon and you did the dance. I and did the dance and we everything. Found, we went to uh, Goodwill next to uh, where, where we, we were. were out there. Yeah. And we found the glasses and the... Uh, yeah, because I didn't bring any of it. It was a last minute thing. Yeah. So. But yeah, we, you know, it's, it's funny. Uh, I enjoyed doing it. I, I, I think I captured the, the essence of Napoleon Dynamite and Give it us one, uh, one Oh, line. it's been too long. Just one. It's been too long. Uh, I don't even remember any of the. You got it. <laughs> Tina, Tina, eat the food. I was, the food. The, I was gonna do eat that line. Yeah, eat the food. I can't do it. It's it's that's embarrassing and cringy. Um, that's great. No, it's not. But no, people did not know it was me uh, when when wow. we were on this because they they just thought Napoleon Diamond was hosting it. So really. Uh, you really thought it was him? Maybe they were making me feel good. I don't know. That's wow. what I was told. I don't know. Uh, I was a kid, okay? Come on. I was like 16, 17 years old. It was I don't amazing. Know. I've seen that footage. Um, if any it of used you, to be out there on YouTube. Uh, yeah. It's gone. Really? I don't know where it is. <sighs> I know. If any of you uh, were at that tour, let us know if you saw that video. Yes. Someone that. had posted on YouTube a while ago, and Maybe I tried looking for it. Maybe you're just now finding out that it was Brandon. And if you are, and I'm not, sorry uh, to crush your dreams. What's his name? John, John Peter. John. John. I hope it's how you say his name. And if it's not, I apologize. Uh, that's a good a good one to end on. Uh, well, no, no. Who do you think you look like? Mm -hmm. I want to ask you that. Do you think you look like someone? I don't think I look like. You don't think you look like anybody? I, no. I know okay. there was... Uh, there were well two there, people there were two people two back people in the day that looked the same yes that people um i got stopped a couple of times yes and they asked they thought i was you do them. not look like them at all no, these days no i never you thought i did back then so much better oh it was mary kate and ashley olson mary kate and ashley olson um in fact it was funny because when i first saw you i thought whenever i heard that your name was ashley i was like mm -hmm. oh my goodness that's so funny because you know because ashley olson so wow. um Yep, but you you did a long long time ago had you know familiar you kind of looked I, like oh that. I never similarities never but, saw it I didn't yes. understand it but so, somewhat, somewhat but somewhat. not at all these days well so. I don't know do I have one now no mm. I don't know you you are mm. just so unique mm. you wow. are wow. a vision of beauty one in a million one wow. in, a, in a trillion oh my I just there's no one like you mm. wow, wow, wow. No one Amazing. like you. What a great thing to end on. Yes. I, uh, <laughs> we thank you I'm so much. A, I'm sorry. No, you what? Continue. I don't want to cut you no, off. No, I just, um, people are probably picking it up. I am so tired because oh. we're filming so late at night again. I know. We had a decision to make <laughs> Guys, today. Do we so film? Late and I've been struggling. You were great. So hopefully, hopefully I didn't look again, too, too snooze fest, but a um, vision of beauty <laughs> and life and energy <gasps> I exudes. Forgot. What? I have a sweet potato in the oven. It's been in the oven for an hour and a half. I remember. I looked over and, okay. You got to eat. Uh, we're going to stop it here. We were going to try and do this before the baseball games. Did not have time. So we're doing it after the baseball games. It's late. Oh, it's man. dark. So, and I'm yawning. Uh, now you're making me yawn. Uh, we're going to call it here. Thank you so much for watching. Or for listening, if you are listening on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, please leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear us talk about. Because this podcast, as you've seen and heard, is about whatever. A couple people have written in. They have, they, They've yes. said Jump 5, and they've said some of my health. Yes, yeah, some, some more health. So, so you know what? We'll, we'll talk more about that in another episode. Mm. Possibly some more health stuff because you know we're so smart over here. Yeah. We know all we're these basically, answers. Basically, doctors. Joking. So. Uh, yes. Um, but let us know if there's anything you'd like to hear us talk about in these podcasts or to see. We've even joked or not joked, but talked recently about bringing some challenges back. So yeah. if you want to see that, drop a comment. Let us know. Drop it. Drop it. Don't forget to smash that like button oh, because. Wow. 
Do people say that still? I don't think they say anyway. Well, I'm so saying it fine. because I'm living in the past. Uh, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps us out, honestly. We're, yeah. we're trying to get back in those. Five stars. Is it a star rating? Well, that would be in the podcast. Podcast, five stars. Uh, yes. And then, uh, yes. Likes. Go watch all of our videos. Uh, just, just leave keep... it on loop. Um, we, we'd love to get our watch time hours back up. So if you can do that, that'd be fantastic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ignore it. Forget it. Don't don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to do any of these things just, that we just said. As long as you're here hanging out and having fun, we love you guys. Thank you for being here. And we yeah. will see you guys. You guys? We're going to see you guys, see you guys in the next episode. In the next episode. <laughs> what kind of accent? Late. Good night. <laughs> Bye. See ya.